Hi, thank you guys for being here today and listening to my presentation. My name is Claire Casanadini and I'm with the program on the environment. Um, my project is called Resources and Community Gardens Completing the Loop. Um, and my capstone project focused on community gardens in King County. I did this work with King County Wastewater Treatment Division in their resource recovery section for their biosolids program. We set out to look at a snapshot of community gardens in King County, something that hasn't really been done. The reason that my work is important is because community gardens provide environmental and social benefits for municipalities. These include things like community engagement, reprieve from the concrete jungle of the city, green space for biodiversity, as well as addressing food insecurity by providing fresh, healthy produce. There's a general lack of information about our gardens and what makes them successful, but they have the potential to help cities and counties flourish. So I asked the question, where are community gardens in King County located and what factors contribute to their success? I investigated these questions by creating a comprehensive map of gardens in the King County using ArcGIS. This involved using partial maps that had previously existed, as well as calling church networks and city park and recreation departments. I collected around 200 gardens in the greater King County area and recorded their general size, amenities, and contact information as well. Next, I collected interviews about garden coordinators um, with garden coordinators about governance structure, access to resources, interest in biosolids or human waste compost, and more. I collected a total of 52 interviews that took around 20 minutes to an hour. These two pieces created a snapshot of gardens in the King County area. I found a lot of things through my data analysis. The main pieces of interest were what made gardens successful, and I focused on three factors, governance structure, resource allocation, and garden intention. I found that there were six dominant gardens in King County, school, nonprofit, community, city, church, and pea patch. These categories define the way gardens were supported and their access to resources. This dovetailed into resource allocation. Certain governance structures had more resources than others. For example, city gardens don't have the same resources as school gardens because they have a lack of time and staff bandwidth to fundraise or apply to grants. The last factor or success I looked at was the intention of gardens. Those that stress community had higher gardener retention and more individuals willing to volunteer. Other intentions included providing natural space, addressing food insecurity, and using leftover land in a purposeful way, among others. These had more trouble with maintaining gardeners or securing volunteers for community space maintenance. This work is important on many levels. Starting out in the macro, individual gardeners can use the map I created to connect to each other, sharing resources and knowledge, something garden coordinators mentioned being a major asset. Citizens and residents of King County will also be able to find gardens near them more easily. A broader implication is a more defined recipe for garden success that municipalities can use to assist gardens. Specifically in King County, this would support certain countywide goals like working on equity and social justice and reducing food deserts or areas where low income people have limited access to low cost nutritious food. In King County, about one third of vulnerable populations studied can't walk to a nearby supermarket and as few as 3% could walk to a low cost supermarket. Supporting community gardens can increase food security as well as other green minded initiatives. I want to acknowledge my supervisor, Eric Aquino, who has become my mentor and a strong example of female leadership. My biosolids team, Ashley and Kat, who provided tireless edits as well as laughs, and my general UW community, who inspired my love of food, farming, and people. <laughs>